Lockluck launched version 1.9.5 of their Idea Studio software a few weeks ago, and I decided to do an update on Print and Cut to see how it's working now in this latest version. The first thing we're going to do is go under the Help menu and do a machine calibration. You're going to need to print the calibration sheet out and then use the USB cable that came with your machine to connect to your laptop. From there, you click the Cut button and the machine will start cutting lines in the calibration sheet. The sheet does look different now. There are two sets of lines per group instead of one. I think it's going to give it that more finite detail um, in the calibration process. And then once the calibration is complete, you're going to note the numbers where the lines cut perfectly. Then you're going to enter those numbers into the software and simply click Calibrate. So we're going to start off first by going under Connect Device in the upper right hand corner and changing the settings mode from Standard Cut to Print and Cut. I've already got my Locklet Crafter Machine Bluetooth connected here, so I'm just going to cancel this panel for the moment. By changing that setting to Print and Cut, I see now the registration marks on my canvas so I know the space I have to work with when I load my images in. So I'm going to go up here on the menu across the top and click on Import find my logo for family unit and I'm going to import that into the canvas and it comes up with this white border around the background and that's okay for right now. I'm going to fix that and, move and remove that from the screen but to get going we're going to click on extract contours and with the magic wand tool selected I'm just going to click in that white space and all the white went away. It went away within the center part of the A's here as well which is pretty cool. And then I'm going to use the crop feature and drag a box around my logo and crop that down to the size I want and then click the check mark when I'm happy with that crop. And then I'll click next. Now here uh, is where I'm going to add in the offset or the padding around my image to allow it to become that sticker with a border around it. So I'm just clicking on expand a couple of times until I get the amount of space around that image that I'd like to have. And I'm happy with the way it looks now. I'm just going to click on import. Now when it imported in, I just click and drag anywhere in the canvas to select the layers. Um, when I do that and I move it, you can see that the um, measurements is in millimeters. And I'd rather have this in inches. So I'm just going to click in the upper right corner of my canvas and change that to inch. So now when I select my image, I can size this down um, in inches versus millimeters. So I'm going to size it, size it down to about two inches. And then I'm going to click on that blue layer, and that's the offset layer, and then I'm going to send it to back. So now I can see my image. And I'll select both of those again and then move them up um, to position in the upper left corner of my canvas within the registration marks. Now I don't want to just print one sticker. I might as well go ahead and print a sheet full of these stickers. So I'm going to select both layers and say copy and paste, and move it in position, and do that again, paste. Once I've copied it, it's in memory, and it'll remember that. And now I'm going to select all three and do a copy and paste and paste again. And I think I can get four rows in here total, so I'll do one more paste. And it looks like I can get everything to fit within the registration marks. So I've got 12 stickers here, and I'm ready to go. Um, the first thing I need to do is if I go up to print, it tells me there are no layers selected. So I'm going to confirm that. Under layers in the upper right corner, I can select all of the images, but not the offset layers. I'm just going to select all 12 of my images 
and leave the off offsets alone. We only want the offsets for cutting. All right, now that I have all 12 selected, I can go back under print and I can send this over to the printer. Now that I have my stickers printed, I can go ahead and cancel out or close this window down for the print preview. All right, the next thing I wanna do is go back under connect device and select the folder that contains all of the offset shapes. All right, and then I'm gonna use the brand Locklick. This is not the brand of sticker paper I'm using, but I found that this one works for me. And the material I'm gonna choose is sublimation paper. I'm gonna leave the parameters as default as they are and then simply click on cut. And then I'm gonna click on start, go back over to the Locklick and see how it works. The stickers came out perfectly, but I will say one thing that I noticed was when I initially did it, I tried to print the stickers out on a laser printer and it wouldn't read the registration marks. But I printed it back out on an inkjet printer and it worked flawlessly. Print and Cut is now working on LockClick and they look great.